Hey everybody, welcome to another Dollarwise Gamers. Uh, I'm playing XCOM Enemy Within. As you can see, this area, yeah, there we go, right up there. I always forget which side it's on. How am I supposed to remember those types of things? I've got other things to think about. Anyway, uh, so this is another one of the uh, the streaming series that I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to continue playing through this game, hopefully until I get all the way to the end. If I get all the way to the end, that's cool. Um, if not, I will just play it until I get bored with it, or you all get bored with it and tell me that's boring. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. All right, so we're going to dive right into this and get going here. So we'll load up the game. The only game I have to load. And dive right in. All right. Ugh. All right, so what are we working on? What do we got going on? Research, we're researching things. Current research down there. Engineering, we're building facilities, right? Yeah, 10 more days on that. Can we build a satellite uplink yet? No, because we are missing the necess the requisite engineers. Also, we don't have enough money. Uh, yeah. So let's actually, I guess we'll just, situation room got anything going on? No. Uh, anybody sick? One person is wounded. And we can't do anything with the officer training school. So we're going to go ahead and go right into mission control. And get going. So here we go, let's scan for activity. Alright, we're going to scramble some interceptors on that UFO. Go, Raven. Raven 1, away. About enough of that. Alright, here we go. We are going into battle. Kill him. Shoot him. Do things. You're doing good. Keep fighting. Good job. It's been shot down. Surveillance indicates an alien crew is moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained heavy damage during the encounter. Thank goodness. Everybody's super excited. Yeah, we did it. All right, people. Retest recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Oh, but I am. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Uh, I uh, was waiting to tell them to get going. Let's send the Sky Ranger, of course. All right. So we got rookie pink, pink, pink rookie Riley, Corporal Romano, Squatty McIntyre, McIntyre, and Squatty Vandermeer. Here we go. Let's get uh, let's get moving on this. Not much to do. Let's just launch the mission. I'm getting something weird. Hang on one second. One second. Somebody is. Oh, is that you? Yes. Oh, I was like, what the heck? I could hear that. It's like, what's going on here? All right, back into the game. Here we go, and launching the mission. All right. Touching down. Yeah, let's begin the assault. going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. All right, on it. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Uh, yeah, okay, well, whatever. Launch the mission. All right, good. So we're in like a city area and we're fighting some bad guys. Loud and clear, Big Sky. Loud and clear. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. All right. So first things first, as always, I've got my uh, snipers leading off the crew. So he is just going to overwatch from his position, because that's what he does. 
later on when he gets the benefits then will be cool. So this is new. I've never actually seen this map before. I am not familiar with it. Whoa, it is goes really far that way. So it looks like we're on the right hand side and goes out not quite as far to the south. I kind of feel like they're going to be up this way, maybe, maybe around this way. Um, and if you don't know already, if you haven't played this game a lot, you always want to stick to the outsides. You never just want to go walking through the middle. That's a bad idea. Um, I think there's not a whole lot of cover down this way until you get to this building. This over here looks like we've got more cover and we can kind of go room by room to a certain extent. So I think I'm going to swing the squad around this direction. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our assault guy out here um, first to kind of establish a nice little perimeter and overwatch. Alright, so our support is going to head for here. I want to keep our rookie in the back for now because his skills are not that great. He doesn't have any extra things, so we'll keep him back there. And he's actually going to go ahead and just swing up this way. I don't really want to bring him over here. They're getting people to, a little too close together. And it's all about overlapping fields of fire. Overlapping fields of fire. That's That's what you want to do. Yeah, throw a grenade at your friends. That's what you want to do. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we hear anything. Alright, nothing. So, switch him into his pistol. Yes, Commander. Get him over this way. Now, normally I'd never move my sniper first. Uh, once they get the ability to snipe anybody that their allies can see, um, I never move them first because I always they're always my like go-to guy when things get bad. Um, but we'll just keep going here. And we want to kind of control this area. It's a nice little spot. So we're going to go ahead and push our main assault. We'll push him up here. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, so we're still not seeing anything. That's good. We want to, we still really haven't established a strong sort of control of anything. Alright. Swing you around here. Nope, nope. There we go, that's good. I'm rolling. We want full cover when we can get it. Support right now until I get... I like to run with a team with two assaults, uh, two supports, um, one, sometimes two snipers. I might run three assaults, uh, depending on how things kind of are going eventually but at this point we still got we we really our team is phew, basically nothing sorry about that all right and i think we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pop him around over to here because i'm just i'm worried that they're going to come right in behind us all right we're good go ahead and overwatch it's really never a reason not to overwatch. Well, I guess there's possibly other reasons. But we're gonna... Oh, there we go. Alright, so we can hear them. They are over this direction. And we will come... We'll come back to our that soldier. Come back to him. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, that doesn't zoom in. I was <laughs> thought that was going to zoom in. Does, it, does anything zoom in? No as close as we get. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and swing him. We're going to bring him over here. Hopefully he can get a better shot down this way. Alright, and we'll go ahead and push her up. I know she's not really an assault person. She's a support. Um, eventually my supports will have ghost armor on. Um, that's kind of the way I play, and then uh, then they run pretty they run pretty well. If things get too hot for them, they can ghost. Um, but I typically play uh, my supports as ghosts that can move a lot and have good uh, ability to heal. So, and it's just I mean, there's other options. I just these are the options I like, and I don't really want to try anything else. Watch. 
Ranch. And we're going to go ahead and get McIntyre. We'll move McIntyre around back here. And Overwatch. Oh, I wonder, that must be telling me where the meld is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know these things, because the one I played before, it didn't have meld. Alright, we got McIntyre, we're coming back to him. Romano. Alright, Romano, here's where your assault levels come in. Go ahead and get up this way. Seeing anything? Oh, is that, that's a meld. Okay, so we can see a meld. Let's go ahead and overwatch. And she can... We're going to have her move around. Go ahead and Vandermeer, you're going to head over here. Can I get outside of this? No, good. Okay, so they can't be coming in around behind me. Just a little nervous that that would be the case. Nice. Hey, Doty, how's it going? <laughs> Go aliens. No, let's, we don't want the aliens to win. Jeez. What the hell? Come on. Don't treat me like that. Do, I'm working hard here. There are aliens that are trying to destroy the world, and I, I, I am the commander of the only thing that's going to stop them. The XCOM security force. And that's, how, that's, yeah. Alright, so we're going to continue with the overwatching. Aliens turn. Let's go see. Alright. So we're continuing to move around here, and I can see the meld now. Alright. I don't really have a good, solid, secure area here, so we're just going to kind of move them up this way. Alright, there's the alien spacecraft. That's good. Now we've established where that is. The aliens tend to be close to that. Yeah. Thanks, Remedy. And thanks for coming back to join me on this episode. Alright. So I don't have anything going on. I kind of want to move her up here, but let's go ahead and move her around to here just to make sure that there's no aliens over this way. Alright, so they could be back there, but I doubt it. The game doesn't normally isn't normally that mean. Moving out. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so we can see the meld. I got three turns to get to it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna need uh, he, this rookie's gonna have to back up our assault. So we're kind of grooming him to be a support, I think. But we'll see what he ends up being. Who knows? He's gonna probably end up being dead. All right, sniper, you go ahead and take up this position here. Actually. Really don't want to double move. It's a little nerve wracking, so we'll go ahead and just move here. Nah, we're gonna move him here. Double move. He's not out there, so. Alright. He's so got two more turns. If I get too close, the aliens are probably gonna see me. All right, I just want to establish kind of a safe area for my support to go. Let's go ahead and move him to there. Oh, that's good. I mean, I, it's a little nerve-wracking that I haven't found any aliens yet, but it's good that there's not a lot over here. Um, and I really want to get that meld. I, I, I haven't had a chance to use any of it yet, but, you know, I want to make sure that I get it. I don't want to double move her, but... She could have a pretty good defensive position there. And then she could just pop right out, grab the meld, and be done on the next turn. Alright, we're going to go for it. Cross our fingers. Yep. Fortune favors the bold. Alright, let's get our support out here. Our rookie, who's playing our support. Our secondary support. My fingers are getting cold.